Hi guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to be continue working on Big Bertha today. So the plan is to remove all the steering, all the pedals, this, whatever that is. The brake cylinder, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Something, something old and tinny. What's inside? Yeah, it smells good. It's <laughs> some like some yeah old <laughs> dunk. Okay, that doesn't do back on today. Here we take it off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that we're just gonna take everything off. Seat runners, gonna cut out this plate, and yeah, so all the stuff that we don't need, we're hopefully gonna cut off and round off. Um, so we've done some work over here. So these are the rear arms for the suspension. One snapped off when we was trying to get off because um, wherever I put it. So this bit here for this suspension is meant to go there and then that bolt's in there and this bit is snapped because this bit got stuck um, inside. So this is meant to go in there and then the thread's meant to obviously come slide in and out and then that was on there but every time we banged it, heated it up, WD-40, all sorts, it just, yeah. in the end this gave way and snapped off. So I've cleaned it up, so we're just gonna place it there and re-rolled it back in place the right way. Because if you put it that way, then it's a bit wonky. Yeah. So Abby, we... remember, when you rolled that back on. Me? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'll yeah, make so it. Yeah, we got to yeah. um, And also this bit here, I had to cut off the bolts because again, the same thing happened. Uh, so now I have to press the old bits out, but it probably be easier just to take the whole lot out and just buy new rubbers and, and stuff for it. So yeah. Yeah. So we're going to crack on with getting rid of all this bit. And then, yeah. So guys, we're gonna start grounding some bits off. Uh, we're gonna take this one off first, and then probably this one and this one, start with that one. So, when you're grounding stuff or cutting stuff off, always use some safety goggles or glasses and some ear mufflers, because of the noise. I probably won't be using those, poor Abby was gonna need <laughs> So yeah, so we're gonna start cutting those now. Yep. And then yeah, so. Don't forget your safety stuff. Safety first. Yeah, I don't want responsibility because you guys are suing us. See, I was doing it and they're like, oh, these guys didn't use this. And they're like, oh, my eye. <laughs> yeah, and man. And I've got a lawsuit coming on. <laughs> uh, exactly, yeah. Safety's first, guys. So, yeah, safety always, first. Always, always, always. Right, let's okay. get it. Let's go. Bye. 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 Like Tony's just like going, yeah, it's gone mad on it. Yeah, because yeah, they didn't take their time with it. No, I think they just rushed it to get it out for the kids or whatever they used it for. Yeah. And across the fields, a bit of playtime fun. But now it's our time for playing fun. So guys, I asked uh, this guy here <laughs> to cut this plate off, yeah? Which I did. Just, yeah, yeah you cut it off, just run the cutting disc along the weld, and then we just smack it off. You're done, but also thought it'd be good to cut through the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, you I, I don't know if it's... I mean, I could have done worse. It's my yeah. first time doing it, so... It's fine. We're just Mindfully to... said I cut a hole in the pipe. You have to just ground this bit down and uh -huh. just weld here and then weld and weld and ground down all right to make it yeah but i guess we're taking that off anyway so yeah because we've got to cut this bit off yeah because it's wonky that's why i think somebody had a wonky eye or something <laughs> um, when they fitted it on because <laughs> uh yeah it's one bit, size yeah this is higher than this one this one's lower i don't know if you guys can see that yeah and also can. sorry go on uh, it's it goes off at an angle it doesn't it's not it's not it's not straight. 
Oh yeah, they can see that, yeah. I can't have that. That's just Yeah, bugging. it's bugging, yeah. So this is going to go either up or this one going down. I'm thinking it'd be easier to put this one up. Yeah. yeah. And then just clean it up and then re-weld it back in place. We might have to cut some off to make it level. Level. Yeah. So I guess my cutting was kind of <laughs> useful. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, oh, it's what right. to do? Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome, bro. <laughs> good work to do with that, so all good. No, that's no. it, that's it. But yeah. Now we're going to start taking the, the steering off. Yep. And then uh, we'll do a bit more cutting at the front, I think. I think that's it for the rear. Oh, no, there's this bit here. We need to take this bit off. Oh, yeah. That I'll just cut that off real quickly. And yeah. Then, uh, yeah, and then we'll just concentrate on removing the pedals and the steering and that. And hopefully we'll just start grounding things down and, yeah. Go for cool. me. That's all the cutting done. Now we're gonna to move to the so, yeah, yeah. steering thing and the floor. I think that is all the cutting done for the minute. Just for a minute. And then we'll just ground down these little bits and bobs. And yeah. Make them more tidy. Tidy up. And then I'm not sure. We should just remove this bit. And then what do it again? Yeah. Because it's joined here. Yeah. And joined here. And it's just like we've got to, we've got to raise it up anyway. And so I made a little boo-boo. So Plus yeah. cut it back, just try and make it square. So I don't know if it's better to get some new tubing. Yeah. And then bend it, bendy tool. Yeah. Know, and then just cut it and then we weld it back on, a new piece. Because I'm not sure, I don't know if we need these. The tank's definitely, that tank's definitely not going on there. Yeah, that Way tank will right there. It'll get halfway down the road and it'll be like, that's Sorry. it, fun gone. <laughs> exactly. It'll be in the middle of the, in the field somewhere or on a track somewhere. And so it's like, oh. Let's push it back now. <laughs> yeah, we're not having that small tank, no. No. So I think, yeah, we're just going to start moving moving that stuff off now. And then, oh, and this metal tray we're going to move, this mesh. We're going to take, we're going to flip it over and take this bit off. Mm -hmm. And then, because we're going to floor it. And then, because uh, I don't want this left under, because I, I don't want any like mud, mud or some shit going into you. Stuck in there and that. So that's going to go. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, and this little on and off. Oh, so this little panel. We wanted to put something there and then put the dials and everything like that. But yeah, okay, cool. Let's, let's crack on with the uh, moving the bits now. talking about how we're going to do the front and what to do with the front because at the minute it just looks a bit flat yeah and you've got this bit here that either somebody's hit something or they've just done it purposely for the spring for the um, accelerator, accelerator pedal. pedal yeah to spring back on um yeah so we our idea is to um paneling all the way down here flat and then getting some form of bumper, metal, obviously. Yeah, like a bash bar. Yeah, basically, to go at the front here. And then, do we come further and then like at an angle to protect this? This is what we're thinking. Um, so it doesn't get, if he yeah. hits something, yeah. chance that he's going to hit something and break something than I do. Because um, he's, yeah. <laughs> and then what we're going to do then is carry on with the, the sheeting, the coming along here. 
here, all of this, yeah, and then the flooring, and then coming along about this height or something along here, roughly. So it's like all in case. Yeah, so yeah. We're not gonna get like dirted up and then wet. I don't mind getting dirty and wet, but I just don't want it all like mudding inside. up inside. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not a biggie, but yeah, we would like to have that feature. So then, because the pedals, the pedals are on here. So because the steering went down this way and it's got some funky funky steering this bolts on to here yeah and then yeah it goes on there someone in there and then turning and this goes onto the steering arm the linkages yeah which is a bit of a it's a good design but it sticks out and it's not straight and then the wheels are like pivoted and one goes one way and the other one goes the other way yeah so we're thinking if we could put the pedals on the floor further here somewhere in, like this around here and then we can put the steering so it's in the middle yeah rather than coming off the side yeah and then that will make it a lot easier to make the steering straight yeah because we don't want wonky wheels <laughs> one wheel will go this way and then one was like no i don't want to go that way because that was way. the problem before isn't it one was pointing straight yeah, and the other one pointing right yeah just pointing out and it's just like it's not great if you want to go straight no really definitely not yeah so that's our plan for now. It could change. Maybe. That's it. Depending on what stuff we get as well. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to take some time, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah. It definitely would. But, yeah. It's a good starting point. That's it. So we've taken off everything. We've just cut off everything that we don't need. Pretty much. And, yeah. Don't know what else we have to do next. Yeah, we need to find some bits for this. Right. We're really struggling finding some bits, though. Right? Yeah, what type easy. of bits? I don't what know if it comes on as like every time I search for off off road buggy stuff. It's yeah, like, it doesn't really. I don't know. I'm not sure. They come pre built or there's bits for like it comes on the quad bikes. I'm not sure if we have to get quad bike parts to fit on that. Let us know down in the comments if you guys can help us out in this. Um, yeah, please do. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, we're kind of getting stuck to a point where we don't know what parts to buy and whether we should keep using the you know the old engine. That we came with this, I guess. Well, yeah. That's another big question. Yeah, we need we need a new engine, really, ideally. If not, we need a source, a piston for the old one. Which is quite hard to get. Because it's an old one. Old I'm... engine. Yeah, it's man. Jawa, isn't it? Jawa five hundred. Yeah, something like that. Jawa, Jawa five hundred. Oh. Don't forget the art. <laughs> forget the art, the art bro. Apparently. Yes. Because when I search for it, it's coming up some random stuff. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> really, really random stuff. Yeah, mum. So, yeah, we well, you know we're just going to flip this over and take this on the trail. And then that's it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, for now, for the minute. And we'll just give it another little cleanup, I think. Yeah, sounds good. Back to the grinding. That's it. <laughs> That's it for today's video. Um, oh, the garage smells like cow dung. Yeah, I know, right? Um, yeah, it actually does smell like cow dung. Yeah. If you guys could smell it for the camera. Yeah, I think they can see it. Yeah, like all of this. This was on the bottom tray. Um, when I cut it off, it just, yeah, the grinder didn't really help, actually. It actually does smell like cow dung. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So we're gonna literally clean up. Um, I think we've done pretty good progress. Yeah, man. All the things that we wanted off is off. So we just need to clean up and then, uh, yeah, and paint it. Repaint it afterwards. Uh, it's been grounded back. But yeah, that's the next video. So, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked it, thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So, all the people are watching, go and hit that little subscribe and the little bell notification and then watch the uh, future content. Thanks, guys. See you. See you guys.